Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Aaron Frost, and tonight, well, first of all, before I get into this video, I just want to say happy late Christmas and happy late holidays. I've been meaning to do a video for quite some time, or, you know, during Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, but unfortunately, my friend was <clears throat> spending the night in my house, so I wasn't able to, you know, give you guys a proper um, holiday cheer. So... However, what I so to make up for it, I actually do have something for you guys. I finally got, and it was a bitch to get in my locals, but I finally got me the, the new star decks, number six, Marae Monet, the Seal Blaze Maiden. And believe it or not, this one's a really hard one to find. And I've been waiting patiently ever since it was going to be um, sent to the shop on the 22nd before Christmas, but unfortunately i had to wait till today to get it so i missed out on a good christmas gift but better late than never right so and also because i want to be that kind of person i bought me a total of four or at least well my friend got them for me because i was busy at work today at the time so i had to pay him back for it but he uh went ahead and bought all four of them for me and reserved them so I was happy because the reason why I got four of them is to get the main, get the main, the Bazagra right here, triple R. So they're all foils. So that's what I like. But we are only going to be focusing only one of these and these will be open tonight. But tonight I'm giving you guys a box opening video slash, well, it's mostly just a box opening. I guess this is considered a box. Um, I haven't done these in quite a long time. I've been meaning to want to do the start decks of all of them, the new overdressed ones, but it's already been too late. It's already been like close to a year. So this one's better than never. So she came out. I decided to just, you know, give out Marie Monet. So and that's what the the girl is, Marie Monet, Seal Blaze Man. And when I saw the overdress series you guys with her, season two, and then I finally saw the season finale she really is was a fucking bitch like i it it was hard to see that because she was trying to be so perfect and you have to think and feel kind of sorry for her a little bit despite her being like an overkiller kind of person we all come to find out came to confirm that she is indeed donji's little sister and donji is not really his real name but i'm not, I'm not going to pronounce his name on camera so believe it or not donji the reason why donji left the family and got disowned it's because he ruined, or, yeah, ruined the happiness of Marae. When, and clearly, the fact is, the guy she was going to be engaged to just wanted her for her money. Fucking cheap bastard he was. But, enough of that little small story little story time. It's time to open this box of Carfight Vanguard Overdress Star Decks number 6, Marae Monet Seal Blaze Means. So, hold on a second. I don't want to ruin this and have a a moment. So if I remember correctly how, um, oh, I guess I probably should do it before I had time. So what it does come with is the barcode and the list of cards it does have. And this one is still Dragon Empire's emblem, but it's in blue due to Basagra. So there's that one. Okay, so here's all what comes what comes on it. This came with um, Marie Monet's first guide to the Overdress series. And what cards is best for the deck? You know, recommendations, uh, what's good, strategy-wise, and, you know, find other cards that are worth somewhat decent and all that good stuff. Yeah, so there's all that, and then there's more in the more right here. So, seal blazes are going to be a little bit harder to do, but I think it won't be a problem as much. So, there's just the basic thing right there, and then we also have the usual play mat. Now, I heard people are actually pretty happy about this one because it also. Oh, for God's sakes, come on. <sighs> okay, hold on. Hold on, there we go. So, 
I can't reveal it to you too much, but you guys get the idea. There's the ride lines to all this. Um, let me see if I can turn this upside down, give you guys an idea. So it's kind of usual, but more bigger. Plus, it also comes with, like, the manga series, too. Um, what happened and what not happened. I might read this, uh, eventually. And it, it looks like it's pretty fun. Um, believe it or not. And... <laughs> I can't tell if this is, um, the conclusion of, um, Donji's and... Um, yeah, Donji's and Yu Yu's uh, car fight during the final season of season two, but we're not gonna get really much into that because that's not what we're here for. We're here for oh, uh, hold on, guys. So there is the deck right here, but I'm gonna hurry and open it super super carefully because I don't want this. I don't want anything here to get ruined, and my OCD, my inner OCD, will get really bad. There we go. So, also it comes with a little bar barrier thing too. Let's take the condom off. So there we go. And now, <clears throat> ta-da! Seal Blaze Maiden Basagra. The main bitch that we've all been wanting. Um, I've been hearing that Basagra has been making headlines in Japan's, in Japan, Japan's meta. Um, being one of the top card, top decks to be going into like the regionals and stuff. So, and that's kind of cool that she's making a good debut in some way. And, you know, I like the artwork on it, the fact is. And the blue flames are kind of like literally the most hottest thing you could think of. So I got, so of course it does come with, uh-oh, hold on. Oh, shit. Sorry, Ben. Ben, fuck me. Well, I may have to go to the store and then find another one of those. But, yes, there you go. So you get one triple R of her. Let's put it over here. And you get three more copies of Basagra as a common. So that's good. Then you get um, Halabadra. And of course you get four of that one. You get um, Nemokar right here. And you get four of this one. And of course you get one of the starter. So... There's that one. And then the new Seal Blaze man we got is uh, Seal Blaze Dragon Ursula. <laughs> and this was kind of like a bit of a joke for quite a while on Twitter that Ur Ursula is known as Ursula. Is, is Ursula. <coughs> oh, excuse me. It's technically Ursula from The Little Mermaid who became, when she died, her soul was transferred into a dragon calling her the Seal, Seal Blaze Dragon Ursula. Um, I think actually it's a pretty good grade 3 to use, but we might be able to make a deck profile out of this from the cards I've been collecting, so that's awesome. Next, it comes with uh, three Elect Blow Dragons, which is just a vanilla, just a 10k vanilla. Three copies of Seal Blaze Dragon Shuruga. Um, believe it or not, I think people wanted to play this at 4. You know, it's like a very good card to use as well until the newer stuff comes out in set four. So, I guess either way, it sounds like a pretty good option. And then there's some generic stuff in here, which is going to be four complete cards, which is the Stealth Dragon Hayashi Kazi. So, everyone's saying that this this card here is a lot better than uh, Twin Buckler, but you know, I'm going to go stick with the Murray Mar build at the moment, and half of this is not what I feel like is best. But yeah, and I think, sorry, I'm just looking at all the cards that are like a little bent and stuff. I think the Triple R Basagra is the only thing that's like really bent. Like it's not a, not a huge bent, but as a small gap like, like on top and me being OCD, like I need to have everything extremely perfect. That's just me though. Um, Spiritual King, so the generic uh, over trigger. Then we have four Conduct Spark Dragons for Criticals. Four copies of Russian Dragon Steel Defino. Dilefo. Three copies of Steel Dragon Giangoku for Fronts. 
then we also got uh, Paroslis for heals. Now, in the anime, she did use this heal trigger because, one, it's cute as hell. But if we're going to be more honest, I prefer to see the Blaze Maidens in this deck too, just to give them more of a Blaze Maiden feel to it. But that's just my honest opinion. You know, I believe that this card is, re is meant to be for Tachikaze cards like Eugene and somewhat. And of course, we're also playing, or not playing, we have four copies in here of the order. This is called the Seal Blaze Sword Pre Prehivnif. I don't know. My words, it sounds like a bad kind of thing, but it's an awesome sword. Um, I, everyone's saying that you can run this as a three or a four of, of the sword. And the shield is Seal Blaze Shield Swanabu. Uh, Swanabu. Uh, Swanabu. I, I think it's the, um, the H is pretty much silent from here on out. So, you know, it's overall, it's a good build. It's not a good build. It's, um, it's a good uh, display for showing the product is in the boxes. I have really never done these in a good hot minute. So I might just be a little careful with this, like without ruining the camera and, you know, gain something that I'm going to regret the most. <laughs> so overall, you may be expecting me to do a deck profile about our lovely Basagra. And the other, uh, the other three light ride lines, but unfortunately, I decided that I'm not going to do deck profiles of the new ride lines until the beginning of the year, the new year, which is going to be next week. So, please be patient with me while I still gather up all the cards. So far, with the new ride lines, I now have Dragon Empire, Brand Gate, Stoicaea, and that's pretty much it at the moment. I still need to go get um, Dark State and Care Sanctuary for my my shop manager and yeah I will be doing a lot more deck profiles and updates of all the overdrive deck profiles and god forbid I didn't realize this but I actually like literally I didn't realize this but I, I, I have at least up to 25 different decks if you want to include Lyrical Monasterio so the fact I'm adding Gravid um Nolinger Bas Basagra Flagbird Dragon and Greedon it's like Oh, God forbid. I'm becoming the mother of all these decks, and I have no shame whatsoever. I should have no shame. But anyways, you guys, that is the display and the box opening of the new star deck, number six. Marae Manet's Seal Blaze, Seal Blaze Maiden. And honestly, I'm looking forward to playing this deck. You know, it seems a lot of fun. It's going to be a little tricky, but it's going to be hella fun. So, um, I'm just fucking happy I actually got all of them for a change. Like... Here I am waiting patiently, throwing a little bitch fit, and it's the best timing too because I was literally, literally having a bad day at work today, and I didn't know what to really do, so I was going to call the shop manager and see if they're in. I was going to get him. My friend luckily got him for me, and I paid him 10 bucks for gas, you know, here in the U.S. somewhat, and yeah, I'm actually looking forward to playing this deck and making it into my own image and seeing how it runs. Until the new Basaga cards, Seal Blaze cards, uh, come out in set four. Yes, in set four. So I'm really excited for it. I'm looking forward to all those opportunities now. Um, anyways, that is the only news I bring you guys tonight in my very first box opening. And I'm like, what, how many, two or three years now? It's been a long time. So I hope you guys really had a good Christmas. I hope you guys enjoy a new year. And yeah, be sure to look out to my videos and there's gonna be some new ones next year i'm actually looking forward to see what 22 is going 2022 is going to be bringing and i also have some good news on my end too but that's all for matter oh also if you guys really are interested i don't know if you guys are i decided it is for my deck binder i decided to make a little little picture of all the nations and everything like that now unfortunately i'm missing two colors this was going to be like gold, uh, gold, and this was going to be silver or gray. So, you know, brand gay and kind of century feel to it. But anyways, you guys, I am being your host, Siren Frost. I'm thankful you guys, um, I just want to give a big shout out to you guys as well. Um, I recently got my subscriber list up to 231. So went from 227 uh, all the way up there. I've actually been very happy with that. So yeah. 
it makes me feel really good that I'm actually doing better with my channel slowly and hopefully getting better up there. So, anyways, you guys, that is all I gotta say about this video. And I hope you guys again have a great new year. Hope you guys had a great holiday. And I'll see you guys next in the next video or next year. I'm your host, Aaron Frost. Have a good night, guys.